Good grief! What did I just see? O. M. G! What the hell? Sony are literally shutting the whole game down. PSX 2016 was a statement of intent. This is no fanboy BS here. This is Sony showing you why they've been in this game so long from 1994. This is why they will be around for many decades to come. What is up gamers, it is Fox, you're watching PlayStation News Now, your source of news, rumor, video game discussion, and home to the Gamer Couch podcast. And we are doing a special live episode tomorrow at 9.30, that's 9.30 GMT in the UK, and it'll be 1.30 and 4.30 in the US. We're gonna talk about the big games that we saw at the Game Awards, we're gonna talk about the big, big games, all the Sony exclusives, amazing third-party support at PSX 2016. You can keep up to date by following the channel via Twitter, Fox at PS News Now, as seen in the bottom right of your screen. Oh yeah! Yes, you are listening to a man who is fucking hyped. Excuse my French, I was never good at it in high school. Uncharted DLC, or was it a side game? All I know is it looked incredible. I actually thought it was Sucker Punch and their new game, but then I saw the visuals and I thought, hmm, this looks like Naughty Dog style. And to my, uh, well, not really surprise, but it was Naughty Dog, starring Chloe, who looked like she was dressed up, I don't know where they are, they must be in some uh, Islamic country, because she's dressed up in a whole hijab, uh, I'm not sure what you call it, I don't want to disrespect anybody's attire, religious attire, but whatever it is, she's wearing a religious outfit to disguise herself. Chloe reveals herself at the end of the trailer, badass Chloe, taking, oh man, that girl is tough. She took down some, some soldiers, taking names, man, putting people, dropping them on their ass. Uncharted, to um, whatever that was, Uncharted 4, spin-off or whatever it was, it looked incredible. And then Sony took it upon themselves, how, oh my God. Sony are trying to break everybody's bank balance. They took it upon themselves to blow our minds further still with not only Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3 for the PS4 exclusively and it's available from the PlayStation Store today. Insane. But not only that, but a totally new Marvel vs Capcom game. Uh, Marvel vs Capcom Infinite, I believe it's called hasn't got a four on the end. It's just called Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. And it looks like there's Power Girl in it. She looks like Supergirl, but it's Power Girl. Um, there's, oh, ja oh man. And apparently they're gonna show gameplay. They're gonna show gameplay at the Capcom Cup, proper gameplay, but the trailer looked off the chain. I loved it, man. Oh, even if the show ended there, I would have been happy, but no, Sony went on and on and on like Ariston. There was a new Wipeout game, excuse me, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I really shouldn't have made a video, but I couldn't restrain myself. I am very ill. I don't know how I'm doing this. It's just sheer excitement that's forced me, that's compelled me to make this video. But I hope you guys appreciate it. It's totally unrehearsed. It's not scripted. It's just my ex impressions of what went down today. So there was a new Wipeout game for PS4, and a, it just looked incredible. That's another game they've resurrected, because this is the anniversary of PlayStation, okay? Today was the date that uh, the PS1 first launched. Now, PS1 Classics, Parappa the Rapper in native 4K, Padapon, and so many other games are coming. The Crash Bandicoot Trilogy Remake slash Remaster, whatever you want to call it, looked great. I loved it. And then you've got Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom, which that is the PS, that's PlayStation Zelda right there. That is play. Look how Zelda looks on the uh, Nintendo Switch and the Wii U. Well, this is the PS4's Zelda. And I'm not taking anything away from it, but I'm just talking about the art style and the fact that it's a JRPG along the same lines. You know, then we've got Crash. Uh, not Crash. I said Crash already, didn't I? I'm crashing right now. I've got a fever and everything, but I'm just so fucking hyped. Gravity Rush 2. That looks slick as hell. And then Neo. Neo looked good. Lovely trailer for Neo. Resident Evil 7 with enhanced PS4 Pro graphics, PlayStation VR, the entire game can be played. 
and obviously the OG PS4 version gets a look into looking amazing on that platform oh my goodness Sony showed the last Guardian a trailer which just makes you more excited for the 6th of December I cannot wait to get this game they showed so much more there's so much more than just you and the cat dog bird type thing there's a whole village of people whose lives look like they're at stake the last guardian is going to be something i think that long wait is going to be finally worth it people it looks absolutely incredible as well as a new horizon zero dawn trailer which actually looked fresh and i say fresh because i i really don't want to see any more of the uh, horizon zero dawn because we've seen so much already but in spite of all that the gameplay looked fresh because um, it was in trailer form and it really sets it up for February release. I literally cannot wait until February. I wish I could speed up time. So Sony showed a whole bunch of PlayStation VR games. Ace Combat 2, uh, which looks good. Uh, an arena-based shooter type game that I really can't remember right now. I'm going to have to go back on that one. But man, PlayStation Experience 2016 was lit. It was L-I-T lit. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. And then Sony had, you know, there was a whole other bunch of stuff. They, they saw a hell of a lot of uh, amazing indie titles and so many Japanese themed games. It was beautiful, uh, every, something for everybody. It doesn't matter who you are, Sony catered to you tonight or this morning, wherever you are in the world. Now to kill everything off in one fatal blow the last of us 2 <laughs> or the last of us part 2 oh man what can i say the the visuals looked incredible uh, you know they should the, the song that she sang was so emotive you know they are just geniuses naughty dog are the premier developers in the world they are top of their game nobody comes close no development team comes close to Naughty Dog. I'm sorry, you can call me a fanboy if you want to. I'm just speaking facts. Their games touch you in places no game should be reaching. Deep. 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 So Ellie was there playing the guitar, singing a beautiful song. A very sad, end of the world, apocalyptic type song. And then uh, while she's singing, who casually strolls through? Only Joel. Joel's in it. And it looks like Ellie is, she's gone, not crazy, but she's, the girl is full of vengeance, man. She wants to kill every last one of them. And I want to help her. <laughs> the game was super, super early. Don't expect this to launch in 2017. Maybe the end of 2018 or early 2019. Because I know Sony don't like to drop their games in a holiday anymore so but this is a long way off but what we've seen looks amazing the textures on her face the details you can see the blood pouring down her face she looked like she'd been bitten on the neck the skin textures the shaders the visuals just look sick absolutely incredible look there was a ton of games but we're gonna have a podcast tomorrow we're going to discuss everything okay absolutely everything purely games no politics nothing purely games so join us man it feels like we got two e3s this year and sony knocked it out of the park with both of them my god it feels good to be a gamer on ps4 even on ps4 pro with the extra power hashtag psx16 blown 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 away my mind is blown away so myself and the crew will be talking about everything we saw at playstation experience 2016 and that incredible hideo kojima trailer for death stranding you know exactly the game i'm talking about you know the game that looked incredible crazy but incredible the game that was running on the ps4 pro in 4k those visuals were okay okay oh man I feel like, oh, oh man, PS4 is offering so much right now for gamers. Fanboyism aside, if you're not impressed, if you're still not impressed with PS4, get the hell out of gaming.